Hello everyone and welcome to a game which I'm super excited to play we, because we play a detective but not only a detective we're a raccoon this guy wait what's my mouse okay you can't see my mouse yet oh this guy anyway I'm super excited to play this game because we get to play a detective as a raccoon but we haven't played a game quite like this one I don't think we've actually played a detective game but it's it's also different it's kind of platforming but you'll see Oh, also to note, this is just the prologue, is not the full game. Um, I want to check it out first before I even do buy the full game to see if we enjoy it, because I don't tend to play games like these. Yeah, the phone's ringing. He's smoking in the bath, reading a book. Sorry, Mr. Cool. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. What does that mean? Is it like flat 27? What's the device in the corner by the, the cork board? I don't have a mouse. Just enough to time to clean up. So what are we going to do? We might not need the mouse here. Uh, press E to interact. A, D to move. Oh, so it's real basic. And tab to access the detective menu. That's quite cool. Um, uh, I don't like not having to use the mouse. It kind of freaks me out. Yeah, look at that. There's, a, there's like a, a bad guy. Having his picture taken at the bank. What's she doing with her hand? That's suspicious. That 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 looks suspicious. October, uh something first, third, twelfth. This is messy. Um Okay. Can I like I can't oh I can click on something. Home to the high and mighty, skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. They can keep it. Yale Town, good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. No one's idea of paradise. Many factories and cramped tenement blocks full of neglect souls. Where's... What's the name of the place, though? West End. And in... Labour District? That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life. Okay, I think we're done with this board. Living room. Okay, so we can go to the living room if we go that way. Case files. Insurance frauds, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably bin some of these old case files. Inspect desk. Use the mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. E. Pick up that. Okay, we're going to put it in the sink. I can't drag anything. You lied to me. You lied to me. I cannot grab anything. Whatever. Can't go that way. I guess we're just going to the living room. We can go back to our media set. Uh, notes of the fridge. Photo chemicals. Window. Place dishes. But it's right next to my bath. I'll wash these later. Probably not. <laughs> we have something in common. Window. Hard to get tired of this view. It does look nice, but although even I can't, if I can't see a great amount of detail. Now it's on the fridge. Cool mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. You're so funny. Media said, gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So never. Why is it always these private detectives don't have any money? I cleaned up. Oh, toilet. Let's go to the bathroom. Toilet box. Wait, no, I wanted to I wanted to look at the books. The Great Apes, the Great Story. Swell toilet read. Is that an insult? Ooh, photochemicals. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Probably won't be that tasty. And now inspect corkboard. Place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place, eh? Someone's at the door. Can I run? That must be Mrs. Green. In you come, lady. Ha! She's wearing a green suit. What is she, a fox? She's got a tail or something. She's a mouse. Odette. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Lota. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. How is your day going? Oh, that's a good one. We can see what's going on with the day. Uh, what was at your blah blah blah? Oh, uh, truth be told, my back's killing me. 
pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Oh, right, okay, she doesn't want us calling her Mrs. Green. Uh, your first kid is kind of inappropriate. You got it. How can I help you today? You didn't say much when we spoke before. That's... I don't think I should ask that. We can jump straight to it. I understand. Wait, what did I say? You gotta have help. That's it. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing. I'm listening. He's a cheater, isn't he? Just, uh, just like, go straight to the assumptions. But no, we're listening. Uh, he's just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. So maybe it's either gambling and debt or cheating. You will suspect he's cheating. You tried to talk to him about it. That's the obvious one. Yes, but he gets difficult. Like, it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court, are you fighting for divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you the proof of debt. I'm taking the case. That's a bit jumpy. Let's see if she wants a divorce first. That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Oh, you might be jumping the gun a little bit. You might just have some struggles. You might be doing something to protect the family. Who knows? We don't know the full story. Your husband will want the kids. I'm taking... Okay, now. We need to, we need to ask more questions. I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? When did you realize he might be unfaithful? I'm not. Stop trying to take the case, guy. You need to you need to chill. This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Okay, fine. I wait better when I know everything. Yes, the kids are dead. I really need every edge I can get. There you go. He has threatened to take them. Yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect the future. There we go. We need to ask questions to find out if he's a dick. Because now he kind of sounds like he's a dick threatening to take the children. Unless she's being unfaithful or dangerous or something. Or maybe they live somewhere dangerous and actually we don't know the full story. And he wants to take them somewhere safe. Odette, this is not your fault. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Is your husband aggressive? That's the best question. I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lota. So we need to know if he's a threat. If he's a threat and he's aggressive, we can get you moved out and get the... The... The, um... Ah... Oh. Oh, well, the custody. The custody stuff done quicker. Uh, Odette, personal details can make it or break a case. What makes you certain he's having an affair? Okay, yeah, what's well, this one? I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. I am an investigator. I know better what's required for the case. It's none of your business. Let's move on. Oh, you bitch. I don't... I, I'm, I'm on the husband's side. Okay, tell me about the affair. He was always a private kind of man. Now started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Smoke? Gas? Uh, uh, booze? Hookers? Uh, who knows? Uh, and you caught him lying, he's giving work, how late are we talking? Okay, so let's go, what kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something... poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Hmm, so... Possibly marijuana. He's smoking and drinking. He's probably gambling. He's skipping work and he might come. You caught him lying. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time, I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Okay. And you caught him lying? Well, he just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. He's skipping work. I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him, so I'm fed up with this. Okay, let's take the case. Maybe he's a dirtbag. Maybe they're both dirtbags. Maybe we're being too judgmental. Sure. What do you need to know? Okay, so we need to know some the thing that we asked before, and then you told us none of our business. What's the full name? Any aliases? How would I pick him out of a crowd? There you go. That's a good one. He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. You're wearing green too. It's a bit weird. Uh, what does he look like? Where would I find him usually? I mean, have you met any of his friends? What's his full name? So, where would we find him? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere, now it's all the time. Okay, what's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. That's a bit odd. What does he look like? Have you met any of his friends? Let's go with that one. No, but he's mentioned a few guys. 
Say they get together after work sometimes. Hmm. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. Ha! I hope he's a dog. On Granville. I'll write the address down for you. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter. Oh, damn it. Okay, hopefully his boss is a dog. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. I mean, it's not much to go on. He's an otter. He wears a suit, which a lot of work people do. He's married, so he wears a wedding band. She hasn't described the wedding band. And he wears glasses as a black suitcase. I'm pretty sure most... Not suitcase, briefcase. Pretty sure most, most briefcases are black. I might be wrong. I mean, maybe some, or some are brown. Brown or black. That should be enough. It's just the matter of my fee. Oh, straight to it. I can give you a hundred now, and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. All I can do is my best. I care about my clients. Problems are my problem. It's a matter of trust, debt. Do you trust me? Let's go with that one. No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. You bitch! Can I go back? Can I go back? I can't go back. Um, I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Well, she was a piece of work. This is the detective menu. Objective! Track Jeremy Green and find evidence of his infidelity that Odette could use in court. Alright. What's my inventory? Uh, a picture of Odette's probably unfaithful husband. Uh, can I see it? I want to see it. How do I... Can I... Oh, it was E. Oh. Um, um, how do I get out of this? Escape! Ah, oh, no. Get out of the menu. And inventory. And inventory. Okay, fine. Um, do I go outside? To Granville! This guy's a badass. Backbone. Wait, was that the prologue? Do I not get to play anymore? Do I not get to play anymore? Oh wait, no, we're here. Okay, good. I'm enjoying this. <gasps> There's even a reflection on the ground. Even though the graphics are super basic, you know, like pixely, I friggin' love the graphics. They're so good. Granville, it smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Wow, this could actually be a sick um, wallpaper for your computer. <gasps> and there's raindrops on the on like the camera. This is sick. Hey, squirrel. You don't really look like a squirrel. Yo, old man. Is he old? It's probably because he's wearing a suit. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? How's it going, fellas? Let's go with that first. Just hanging. What's up with you? You could say hanging too. Um. Uh, from my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Yeah, now we're bros. It's a I did the smart smart talk. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, a, uh, why would I tell you? I'll see ya. Yeah, he ain't no snitch. What's this one? Oh, we can't talk to you. Hey, a lawyer's office. Oh, man. Why does it look so good? Oh, we can run. Can we jump? Uh-oh. Hold shift to run. Okay, well, I... I just figured that out. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Well, what's this guy? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was this? Oh, it was a squirrel. For some reason, I thought he was an otter. Um, and that's what we're looking for. Hey, a popcorn machine. Whoa. Oh, these images. They're really cool. Like, the art is just wicked. And Natalie. You're not, you're, um, uh, uh, fudge. What are they called? What are they called? Um, ah, a beaver. He's a beaver. An athlete. Hey, or is an athlete an animal? It looks like a beaver. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, an athlete, no, it's his name. I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, want to hear a great story? Can't it wait? No, we're, we're going to be polite. Well, even the first one's not that polite. So, my wifey Estrella and I blessed the shepherd 
We got a second lad on the way. Ah, congratulations. Thanks. He's a big one too. S is around as a as round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I'll tell her. Ha! Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Wait, what? Uh, that's... That's weird. Great, can you answer a couple of my questions first? How he ease up? Uh, what's so important? I can't let a friend tell a story. Oh, oh, damn it! I should have done the other one. I can't go back. Um, I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. Seen him recently? Pfft. I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know those scrawny swords like flashing their cash at the bite, though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be in there. Essie'd have my balls, anyway. How e your oh, why did I say that? Howie, you're scaring off my clients, you know. All right, thanks, and Ashley. See you around. You weren't that useful when you're supposedly our friend. Rogue, they did a great job of storing the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. True. Canines, cocktails, and a movie sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Dr. Cyclops, that movie. Sounds good. Uh, Northern Tickets. Hey, look, there's a lady in there. There's someone with a pram. Oh, we're looking at the poster. We're not talking to this woman. It was a bunny. It kind of looks evil. Look at her face. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Ooh, that's where we want to go. Hey, look, there's someone up in the in that window up there. Maybe a horse playing video games. Hey, there's a wolf bank. Isn't that where he works? Wolf bank. Is this where Green works? I think so. Banker. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Um. Oh, you got his jazz around. And who are you? Wallace. Assholes and money. I've been looking for him anyway. Yeah, I have a later. Uh. Okay, let's just go with the first one. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. I will pay if I can't find him. You seen him today? Uh, make my own luck. When was the last time you saw him? Yeah, let's go with that one. Today. But the wimp ass left early. He's scared. Derek's gonna split his wig, eh? Did something happen at work? Where do you think he's headed? Let's go with the first one. Your his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did you boys spend time with him outside of work? Where do you think he's headed? He got a girlfriend or something? Uh, let's go with the first one. Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the F would I know? Now skedaddle, rack. I'll do just that. Okay. Oh, we got an objective again. Jeremy Green is frequent visitor to the bite bar. Find a way in. Track Jeremy Green and find the evidence of his infidelity. Okay, yeah. So we got again. Oh, it says closed. Oh, wait, that's Wolf Bank. Where's the bite? Oh, there's the bite. Definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Alright. Hey, um, what's this, uh, fish, shrooms, and veggies? Can I have some, sir, please? No? Alright. Fine. Bouncer, can we talk to this guy? He looks tough. Hank, is he a pit bull or something? No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. That's, um... That's kind of racist. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. There's loons money. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something. Big boy, what do you need? Understandable. Have a great day. Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, of course. Get lost now. Or I'll bash your head in. All right. Dick. Can I go behind? <gasps> I can. Oh, that guy's puking. Larry. Larry, Howard. Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry? The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Why is everyone calling me old? Ha. Who are you calling old, you old rascal? Uh, same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? Let's go with the first one. Ha ha. All right, that's fair. Plus, the rats likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Wait, now, so do you live here? Live? 
Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, little Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Oh gosh, poor lady, what's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in here. In there. You said your guy's an otter. That's weird. Have any idea of how I could get in? Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. With a disguise would be pretty funny, but let's see if he knows how to get in. What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel Kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Is that the squirrel we already talked to? Wait, did he say squirrel? Yeah, squirrel. Uh, what sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like hype and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. <laughs> Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. And you think this Johnny guide help? Monkey Butt? What do you know about the bite? All right, hopefully that's enough to get into now. Well, I want to know what Monkey Butt is. Yeah, where is this new thing's the shit? Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish stanky thing does it have kind of a herbal thing oh this is what liar um the otter dude has been having no ah oh. oh no it's not no first time experience but i guess that could be a more delicate way to put it i only just noticed there's a flipping armadillo drawn on the wall what is up with larry's face actually no, um okay uh and you think the johnny guide help what do you think about the bite? Uh, yeah, let's check that out. Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Oh, no, he's a Bloodworth. So lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? I don't know what that means. The bear family? Crime family. Last year, head up of the family and died. And shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative. Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumors? Oh, all the kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the otters, others killed so she could take over. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite, thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome session, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Who's this guy? I don't know. Hello? Oh, he's chewing. Oh, he's throwing up. Oh, it's good that he got away. Stay vigilant. So I need to find this squirrel, right? Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, man, seriously. Like, this looks so good. Uh, yes, yes. No, no. You need something. Something written on the wall saying stuff. Oh, an intercom. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. Okay, I just walk away. I was pressing E to try and get out. Um, Luscious. Main barbershop. Hey, there's someone singing the window, singing the window up there. Oh, wait. Uh, press control to crouch mode. Okay. Why would I need to crouch? Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror. A pair of scissors and a large whiskey. That actually sounds pretty good. Ah, oh, crap. Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Ah, we can slip past. Oh, we don't want to speak to him. We're sneaking past. Is that it? Can we... I'm just kind of hiding behind this guy. Yeah. Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes one sock is more expensive than the whole outfit. Wait, am I going to find Johnny and persuade him to get me into the bite? Okay, who's Johnny? Uh, where is... Am I going the right way? Foxy Burger. Ooh. Once I got punched by a guy in a federal who then puked all over my new cane. Ah, uh, memories. 
Why are you sounding like it's fond memories? Whoa, look at the city behind this place. Press. What's this guy's name? Bo. Oh, B-O. Good day to you, friend. Trying to see some fresh news. Anything good happening for a change? For a loan, you can read. Oh, loon. You can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all great. A parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How is that news? It's the same every year. No way. The floats are different every time. Gonna smell mounds of nibbles drop by. Oh, sell. I said smell. Sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. Thanks. See you around. Um... Okay, well that, I can't go any further. Let's just run. Here we go. We can't jump, so... Oh, wait, we're gonna have to sneak in a sec. Wait. Quick, uh, quick, quick. Like, that's how to say, quick, Omart. Old Erna is still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time, yeah. Sneaking past the police guy. Downey is his name. So where's this Johnny guy? Is he the squirrel we talked to? Pretty sure it's this guy. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Uh, well, name's Wallace. I am. Yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to you? You got any drugs? Here, you deal monkey, bud. I need to get into the bite. Oh, I'll bet you do, pal, but why should I care? I would tell my tires in the club. Here, they sell monkey butt through you. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea? Striper? Just a rumor that's going around, so will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I'd have it. He could just get me into the bite, will you? But you know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in, for good reason. Say I make you a simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to be... To not be introduced to the cops. I'm a detective, my mark is in the bite. I'll owe you one. Just a warm fuzzy... F <laughs> okay, now let's go with the middle one. You shit me? Prove it, punk. Okay, look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Yeah, so... All I see is a filthy trash mobster. Who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just a final pitiful cherry on top of a crap cake. That's rude. Uh, weird hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel. That he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? That's hilarious. Show your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. At least my mother isn't busting her gut in the farmlands. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, you know, we're, we're kind of going the wrong direction here. We need his help. You know, you're right. I'm a loser, but I need your help. Ugh, you're pathetic. Would you get lost just looking at you? Effed up face is scaring me, scarring me for life. Oh, for God's sake, just help us. So my face caught your attention then. Ah, oh, balls. You are gross and weird. I'll get you in. But you've got to leave me alone, okay? Beautiful. That went all, all weird. That went weird. That was weird. So what do I do? Do I just go there? So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Okay. What do you want? Ah, here's Johnny. That's hilarious. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. This is weird, but I like it. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Well, rainy. Do we know this person? Well, you're unusual. Sorry? You're unusual. It means you come with a story. I love a good story. Renee Wilson. Howard Loter. Hmm, that's a fake name. Too young for a Howard. Maybe you're the one giving out fake names, and you're projecting onto me. Calling it. That's a line. You've said that no matter what name I gave. Well, I'm how to... This lady's singing. Oh, she's pretty good. I hope it's not copyrighted, because it's just ruined this whole video. You're quick. You're a wit. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's her living, usually. 
It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. Colby? Hey there. You here for Eden Simmons' show? Two? I'm so happy to see her live. Finally. I haven't heard of her before. That was a nice sound, though. Not quite. I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an otter gentleman? Here's the photo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, but I wasn't paying close attention. I couldn't be sure. Oh, well, did you see... Did you say Eden Simmons is playing? I'm actually a PI working at case, trying to keep it up well. Can't say that. Um, let's just say enjoy the show. Oh, I thought this was the person singing. Well, they're dancing. Isn't this too dreamy? Listen, I'm looking for someone. Well, you sure are. Ha! God, I love this music, she says. Want to dance with me? I'm looking for a friend. And Otter, have you seen him? Let's just go with that. I don't want to dance. Uh, are you sure he would have been wearing a green tie and glasses? Not really. Leave me alone. Okay, fine. Bitch. What are you? Are you a dog? Ingrid. Ingrid, evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here? How can I not be? Not yet. My friend's late. I'm worried about it. Let's go with that one. How oh, touching. They are regular. Jeremy? He's usually here like clockwork. That's not his name, is it? I don't remember. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? Good rings. You should try asking the bartender. Or Ms. Bloodworth. Thanks for your time, Ms. Call me Ingrid. Mr. Very rude of me. Wallace. Mr. Wallace. I hope, you s I hope we see you again soon. Goodbye. Oh, well, she was kind of nice, I suppose. Listen to music. Oh, we can just sit down and listen. Oh, wait, what happened? Is it because I moved? I pressed the move button. It's just kind of panning around the room now. Okay, let's, let's, let's not do that. Let's get on with the game. That's Clarissa. What's that? Oh. I can't talk to the bar person. Clarissa, you look a little lost. Is it that obvious? It is to me. What gave it away? You're not exactly dressed for a... S that word, soiree. Oh, soiree! I know that word. Soiree, darling. Are you saying I don't belong here? On the contrary, I'm quite amused by the company. So tell me, what brings you here? I hope it's not to stir up trouble. Do I look like a trouble man? Nope, just trying something new for change. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. How's that working for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. Feeling is mutual. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Howard Loader. Private investigator. How exciting! Are you here on business? Uh, damn it, I probably shouldn't have told you what I do. So, what if I am? Wouldn't I be welcome like any other customer following a lead? Perhaps you could answer a couple of questions. I don't think so. I would have to ask usually. Damn it! And who are you? I'm close to. Oh, shoot! We messed up. This is not all suspicious. Maybe I'll see you around. Uh, now you are leaving. I'm close by where I am on the bike. Now you are leaving. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Mr. Lota. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again soon. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I messed up. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. Well, that was unsuccessful. By the way, back inside the bite. Crap. Okay. Well, that calls for the end of this episode. I'm really enjoying this game. It's actually really good so far. Anyway, um, we're going to keep playing, I think. Uh, before we, we buy the full game just to just to make sure if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the thumbs up button it really helps and i really really appreciate it and tell me what you think about this game down in the comments if you want me to you know get the full game and play it all the way through let me know and if you're not subscribed make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can find out when i upload the next episode and other content i'll see you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>